Robinson invites you to stay tuned to BBC One this Saturday evening for cartoon action. Then at 5.45, the flying doctors lose track of an artist in the bush. Getting back to one's artistic roots is all very good and well, but if it means dying in the process, then your attitude is bordering on criminal negligence. This is 6.30 off on Ginny Knox. I'm introducing six acts new to telly, plus last week's winner. And you can phone in your vote. What do you mean you're not on the phone? Three up, two down at 20 past seven, and Daphne's got that look again. You look disapproving. Why should I be disapproving? I mean, what could be more delightful than to be joined at breakfast by a lurching inebriate and a string vest? Then danger for Perry Mason on a scandalous case. Wade, you really are a sleaze. I'm only sorry I didn't see it sooner. After the news, a mistaken diagnosis on the casualty ward. Oh, for heaven's sake, Megan, how could you miss that? That isn't a glass cut, Megan. It's a bite. A girl I know is very fond of a wisecrack and a ditty. Well, I advise that she should watch that show on BBC One. Film action, cricket highlights and a prayer for Easter close Saturday here on One. The conflict of state and religion in Eastern Europe and the changing nature of that relationship is explored on BBC Two in ten minutes with an examination of East Germany's liberated first Easter. Here on BBC One in 25 minutes we've some less than helpful DIY hints from Frank Spencer in Some Mothers Do Have Them. That's right after Hello Hello. <laughs> Thank you.